Hey, what's up, guys? It's DJ. New and updated mods have been released on the mod up for Farm Sim 22. In total, today we have 32 mods, 22 new ones for all platforms, as well as 9 updates, and PC and Mac players have one update. In this video, I'll show you all the new mods, plus their customization, and we'll go over everything that got an update today. All right, let's start off today with some new ones for all platforms. We have the Steiger Tiger Series 3. This is 470 horsepower manual transmission, 1,457 liters of fuel, 15 miles an hour and it weighs 21.6 tons big boy right here well brands we've got lizard which are some custom we also have trelleborg michelin bkt nugget radistan and back in again as far as those lizards we've got standard and twins and uh take a look we've also got trips over here in michelin tires looks like standard and uh dual tires basically throughout type number we have the 1977 through 80 80 through 82 and back and forth between those oversized sign yes or no beacon light yes or no the very top glass we have different types of setups through here basically standard or strong and you got a license plate as far as what we've got on the back no three point only a regular trailer hitch keeping with case stuff in game we have the case h puma south american series 183 horsepower power shift transmission 405 liters of fuel 24 miles an hour anyways 9.7 tons engine options we've got the 190 which was at that 183 we also have 197 213 234 250 and 270 so we've got all the way up through there well brands we do have michelin trailboard tires midas continental and back into michelin again we do have some interesting ones through here i think probably with the wide front wheels and twin wheels in the back being my favorite and then we got a license plate that is it and we've got another red machine we've got the case ih 7200 pro series this is very similar to the one that we've got from giant software however well, we got a lot more customization in here. Starting off, 170 horsepower engine, power shift transmission, 445 liters of fuel, and she goes 24 miles an hour. As far as our engine on the front, we got 170 horsepower, 192, 214, 228, 239, 246, 261, 306. Yeah! Let's go, man. Uh, wheel brands, we've got Trellabor. We also have Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Bratistan, Nucket Tires, and back in again. We do have those spread out narrow twins. If you guys are curious about that, love those. Pro decal, we have yes or no. So it's not just the engine that decides that. You can just take it off, which I love. Beacon lights, we've got nothing. We have beacon lights set up one, two. We even have a default, like led bar on the top and then we've got a strobe bar goodness gracious that's pretty cool additional lights we have default on the very front we have the uh, large led bar on the top all of it together or just the extra working lights which is really really cool i love that that's awesome uh, then we have tinted windows we do have a couple different shades of tint only two of them window decals so it looks like we have side window decal little case ih there above the rear tire uh on the very front and then we've got a different setup of decals so it doesn't look like uh yeah we can actually do both how cool is that man that's pretty sweet i love that interior accessories we have the carpet we have a table that sets up over there on the right hand side and then we have both of them exhaust we start off with the default exhaust but we can go with a chrome and a couple different tips there fenders we have the with or without on the front front loader attachment quickie power the mx or none main color we start off course with case ih but we could change that up to quite literally whatever we want however you're feeling go for it i can even put a john deere on here let's see how many people we could trigger with this design color this is probably going to be a front loader and then your rim color since we're here may as well just do this um how many friends did i just lose i'm so sorry and here's a group of the people that were just laughing that i didn't lose the fent guys the fent 400 vario tms uh this has 115 horsepower 245 liters of fuel 34 miles an hour she's quick and 5.9 tons engine options we have that 115 horsepower we also have 125 135 145 155 and back in again wheel options we do have trelleborg michelin tires midas bkt brother stein nookie tires are back in again we have anything wild and crazy we do have twins on here so there you go you got those if you want them exhaust cover 
We have the original. We also have a chrome setup and design line for the front. Front parts, speaking of, we got a spring holder, hood guard, or back to nothing again like that hood guard. Hood detail, yes and no. It's just going to add the little piece right there in the middle. Helps you stay in the center. Beacon lights, we have left side, right side, both side. Left side, number two, both of them, or nothing. Steering knob, you can throw a steering knob on there if you like. And then we have carpeted, yes or no. Attachments, we have no front hydraulic or front hydraulic with or without PTO. Now, there is no weight option, but we do have a weight that comes with the pack. I'll show you that momentarily. Front loaders, we have none, quickie, power, Fent, yeah, or nothing there. And then your main colors, you do have quite a few different options through here to choose what you like. I like Petra Blue, so that's what we'll go with here. Change up your design on the very front. And then, of course, rim colors are rim colors at the end of the day. And I mentioned we have that weight. It's just a 500 kilogram weight for you guys to put on the front that matches perfectly. And making our way over to equipment, we have the Solace Bazooka 25. This was released a few days ago, along with its counterpart, which we'll talk about here in just a second. But they were removed quickly because they had a scheduled release today from Connect Modding, a collaboration with Solace. We have a new brand in the game for all platforms. 25,000 liter, and as you can see down here, we've got all kinds of different stuff. Starts off as a seed tube, but we also have the Tubo Grouse. And then back to seed tube again. We'll just stick with that. And then main color, we can change up that main color. Very, very cool there. Hooks up a trailer and PTO, and it is basically an auger wagon at the end of the day. Next up from the same guys, we have the Solus Spander AP12000H. Again, a new brand into the game, but well, same brand as before. 6,000 liters, that's going to be solid fertilizer and lime, 3.9 ton weight, 36 meter spread at 11 miles an hour. We can change up those wheel options from Trailer Bork to Michelin, or uh, BKT. Man, I'm so you say Michelin afterwards. That's it, just the two wheel options, and there's no other customization. Next up, we have the DPW 1800 Bell Auto Load. Now there's two versions that come with this. We have Easy and we have Pro. Basically the difference through here, the easy version is probably what you guys are used to. It's got a very large bell trigger and should be very simple. Then we have the pro version. Here the bells must be placed onto the trigger itself and the auto load function must be configured inside. So let's take a look at that. We've got auto loading for all of our square and all of our round bells. So 125, 150, and 180 centimeter round bells and 180, 220, and 240 on our square bells. Now auto load, yes or no. And we have 30 square for the 180, 24 of the 220 and 240. And then for the round bells, 28 of the 125, 24 of the 150, and 20 of the 180. So you have to choose which of those you want. For some reason, this specific trailer does not automatically adjust to each one like all the rest of them do. Now, we also have wheel options from Trelleborg, Vratestein, BKT, Continental, and that is it. In BKT, we do have a standard and a wide tire. Designs, we have extensions or nothing. Beacon lights, yes or no. Now, I'm going to assume it's going to be on the very back. On the bottom, yes. Do we have anything on the extensions? No. Working lights, we do have those as well on the back. Now, do we have working lights on the front? We do not. So, heads up there. And then rim color, we can change up, but not the main color. And that is it. And then we have the exact same customization for the Pro. How's about a John Deere auger wagon? An older one. I missed this from Farming Simulator 22. This was a 19, but it's back, baby, from Slushes Mining. John Deere 1210A. This does all of your standard auger wagon crops, as you can see there on the bottom. 10,500 liters of them. We can also put an extension up to 14,500 if you guys want to do that. Wheel brands, we have Continental, BKT, and back in between those two. Now, in Continental, we could go a standard and double tire, and your BKT is going to be more of a tractor tire. Transmission cover, so we have original or nada. Main color, we have a couple different colors of John Deere there. Design, this is going to be the tarp on the top, and then your rim color, of course, is rim color. So we can kind of change this up a little bit and make it not so John Deere-ish, or very John Deere-ish. Whatever you like. How's about a slurry tanker? We have the Cody Garant VE8. 
8,000. This will do slurry and digestate, of course. Holds 8,000 liters of them. 2.4 ton weight, 85 horsepower, 9 meters spread on the very bank, and it'll go 10 miles per hour in a max speed. As far as your wheels, we have Trailborg, Michelin, BKT, Fratestein, and that is it. We do have some standard and wide tire options, as well as Chunky Boys. Decals, we have white or red, and you may want to go white because we can change up the tank color as well. All the colors there, and the same thing for the rims too. Very cool options here. These are almost the perfect setup for colors for almost everybody. Very neat setup. Another slurry and digest a taker, the Lizard ST2000. This one's a little bit smaller at 2200 liter capacity, 25 horsepower. It's also got a four meter worker with it, six miles an hour. One of the nice things I like about this is most slurry takers are massive. This is itty bitty, it's tiny. If you guys wanna do like a small farm, old farming, some old iron, this may be perfect for you guys. Wheel options from Lizard, BKT, and back and forth. In Lizard, we have standard and a uh, standard number two, and BKT just is what it is. I prefer the Lizard standard two. I think those look great. Cover options. These are going to be on the front. We have a couple different options there for the motor and things like that. We have a warning triangle. I'm guessing this is going to be on the very back. Yep. And then we have some reflector setup as well. So, how cool is that? I'm really digging this. And then we've got all kinds of colors for the main bit. We've got the frame there. We have a design color as well. It's going to be for your tank and your axle on the very bottom. We have another design color here too. That's going to be, ooh, the, the tube around it, the pipe. And we have a rim color. Bruh, how, how, how did you do it so good? This is great. Next, we have a little weeder, and this will also be a cedar for you guys, too. As you know, some weeders can be used as cedars. So we have grass, we have cover crop, and we have canola on here, too. Take seed only, so no fertilizer, 200 liters of it. 50 horsepower at 2.8 meter working with at 7 miles an hour. Not too bad. Very cool. Very small, but I do like this. Next, we got a little bulk crop handy tub thing. Uh, it's the T057, but I'm going to call it the handy tub. Yes, 500 liters or 700 liters. We could also do 900 liters if you want. And we got a bell trailer version. And I say that because look at all this stuff that it holds. Very, very cool. Uh, this would be great for testing if I had a couple extra zeros on the end of it. Maybe update mass equals false. Am I right? Oh, yeah. We do have some custom colors on here for the main color. This looks very interesting. Very, very cool. Design color. Uh, nothing there, so I'm going to guess. Yep, that's going to be the up top part of that. And then design color. I'm going to guess for the gridding. No, I was wrong. The frame. You can change the frame color. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Next up, we have the 2600 kg weight. This bad boy right here could be swapped up for quite a few different things. We have design is Agco, Kloss, Doisfar, Fent, John Deere, Valtra, and back into it. So no case age, unfortunately, on here. 2.6 ton weight, of course. Warning signs on the sides, yes and no. Lighting, we have small lights at the top and big. We also have medium, which is the third one for some reason. Reflector, no, I'm not seeing any color. Okay, there we go. So reflectors, we have yellow and red reflectors. Fire extinguisher, it's going to be on the very, very back right there. Very cool. Uh, you can also do a small one on the other side. That's nice. Reflector stripes. So we have red, white, both, front side, all the good things. Uh, we also have attachment type. Uh, this normally doesn't matter in the game, but visually you could change that up if you want to. We do have a couple different color options, even chrome, which is kind of neat. If you guys want to go with a chrome setup, go for it, man. Plenty of custom colors here to keep you busy. Ooh, it's even got, oh, that hurts my eyes, blue. Love it. And we've got some placeables for you guys. It looks like we've got about nine of these. So sit back and relax. First one is the loose housing for cows. Now I say loose housing. Um... It's not loose, they're in a pen, but it's it's large, so there is that. We've got an area right here where you can get them. The interesting thing is only 75 head of cattle. Um, I do think that needs to be bumped up a little bit. Those are some rookie numbers, but yeah, it is what it is. We do have an actual place for slurry, so that is fun. And then, of course, you got your areas for milk and slurry all the way around. And then your place for your animals right through there. Yeah. There's really not a whole lot to this. We can open it up and go inside. And we got another little area right here that we can open there 
two coming in here. Doesn't look like we're able to open that up. And then the rest of it's just open for the cattle to do whatever it is that they want to do. Very neat. And if smaller cow area, cow, cow, cow areas are more your thing, maybe the old stone cow shed will be more your style. This bad boy will hold 15 head of cattle. And if we go inside, we have some static head of cattle in here. And we do have an area up top, which is actually very easy to get into. And it doesn't look like we're able to jump out the window, unfortunately. <laughs> so there you go. Nice, easy. We do have both of the doors that open. Don't know why you would need to, though. Food goes outside. Slurry's outside. Uh, milk is outside. You buy the animals outside. There you go. Not a whole lot to it. And also, if you want to go crazy, you could probably take this and modify it a little bit. Hey, great way to hold a lot of cows in a small place. And we've got more animals here as well. This is the Rustic Stables Pack. So we have chickens, pigs, and sheep. Unfortunately, horses and, uh, and cattle, no love here. We take a look at this. The chicken coop will give us 120 head of chicken. For some reason, it's when you're on it, it actually doesn't work, but when you're out front, it works. So, well, at least there's that. Uh, pretty explanatory food on the right, and your eggs are going to be on the left. Then we have an area for the uh, pigs, only 20 of them. And again, the, the actual trigger doesn't work. The trigger's all the way out here for some reason. Uh, food, water, and of course, place for your straw. Slurry through there. And then hopping over here to the sheep. And I'm guessing same thing. Yep, trigger doesn't actually work for some reason, but it works out front, so whatever. Uh, water and food there, and place for your wool on the left. Next, we have the garage with silo. They do say the silo does not support AI drive functions right off through the bat, so heads up there. This will uh, be a place for you to store your uh, machinery, store your crops. We got a place for your light right there, and then we come along through here. I do love the automatic sounds through here. Man, that sounds so good. Uh, it is very old and just creaky and everything. That is very, very cool. Now, sometimes with pieces like this, you have to build them and fold them. Yeah, this is the same way. Fold and unfold. Uh oh, what button did I hash? Okay, there we go. So that is that. I'm guessing the door doesn't open when it's there. No, but if we take that and make it go away then we can open the door okie dokie very very cool i love that i think that's awesome and then it should boop just like that awesome 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 uh 150 000 liter capacity on here and 120 bucks per day daily cost is pretty high so be careful black sheet modding coming in with some old school mods right here the storage tunnel easy sheds yes sir uh if you are a uh an older Farming Simulator player like myself, you'll probably be remember these for Farming Simulator 17, and I believe we have these in 19 as well. Two sets of them. We've got the open model and the closed model. There's not much more to say about it other than that. Just very, very cool. Plus, for some reason, farm sim players love to jump and run on stuff. These are great for it. Yeah. And next we have the small Horman storage, 20 by 10 meters. We'll go in here. It's going to cost you $50,000. We do have an opening there and we've got an opening over here as well. There is a front door, which works and our players are able to go through it perfectly fine. Uh, it is smaller, so this is not going to fit your large machinery, but it is not built for that. Very nice shed very good looking shed next up we have the iron gate they say this is an iron gate to make your farm even more realistic we have two of them we have the large iron gate right there and then we have the well just regular iron gate really it's a single door or a double door looks like they're both exactly the same size just single and a double and you can find these in fences how big is a family when you think about it two people three people ten people well uh this is a single si small family house small single family house there we go uh no way in here but of course we've got a place for changing our clothes and sleeping and lastly today we have a package of small items so we have a set of decoration items of course we have a concrete mixer we got a place right here we have your gas uh, we also have a place for hanging up clothes a couple different of them scarecrow in here some ibc tanks a couple outhouses can we go in there yes we can these are going to be found in decorations all through there now down here these are going to be found in containers and we've got all kinds of different filling areas for 
water. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms, we have the Antagonia map, version 1.1. New save game is recommended for this. They've added easter egg, terrain smoothing, aligned the PDA with farmlands, fixed dirt paths to cell points in silo, and added an actual old barn to the old barn cell point. Next, we have an update to Hillaby Creek, version 1.004. A new save game is required for this one, so heads up there. He's removed all of the small trees in the wooded areas and added new trees, added three hardwood planted areas. Added wooden container sell point to the sawmill with a sign to show where it is. Its sawmill land must be purchased to use the sawmill or wood container sell point. It's start from scratch. Similar update to the plantation from the same creator, Gamer Designs version 1.001. New save game is required for this one too. Fix paved roads so that there are no gaps below. Added a wood container sell point and added a sign for the container sell point. We've also got an update to the Agcovaria 1000 US series from Custom Modding version 1.1. This is the first update. Added Assyria Compact Pro for precision farming, added passenger seating for the Kubota DLC, and added a window tent. Next is the German Grain Mill version 1.1, Collision Fixed. Next up, a super helpful mod, the TMR Mixing Station version 1.001. Changed description version, new second UV. Added snow, added LOD, added collision, occluder mesh, and a brick version. They've also reduced the daily maintenance and increased the mixing cycle. Next, we have the Fieldwork Fill Station version 1.001. Added manure, slurry, digestate, and water. Increase the fill rates for all products and increase the discount. Next to last, the Field Shed Pack version 1.001. Fix the relations of textures to each other. Fix small mistakes in the mod description, description, and mod description, description, yeah. And rework the mod icon. And your last mod update for all platforms today Open Garage version 101. Corrected UV so there's no longer visible snow inside the building. And your only mod today for V. PC and Mac players is an update to the object storage mod version 1.2. Fixed conflict with new object storage specialization added in game update 1.9, added the check translation, and added one new placeable building, the Bell Shelter. It's a three-sided shelter with four configurable storage areas. Well, guys, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a like on it if you did. Get subscribed if you do. Enjoy the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. We've already released Farm Sim News earlier today, so go check that out if you haven't seen it already. We talked about a Swather update, the Flat Rack, as well as the Community Spotlight, which is going to be happening probably about the same time you're watching this video. So, go check it out. Otherwise, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.